just decided to get married. To achieve a successful wedding is very important. To have good planning is one key thing that should be there. Try also to delegate the tasks. Otherwise, there is a big risk that the planning will be a burden to you. A very warm welcome to Uliza Chochote with me, your host, Linda Alela. Make sure you grab as much as you can on the topic of the day because never, you never know when the craving will strike. We are here to guide you and to take care of all these concerns. We are able to help save your time and money as well as your sanity so you can actually enjoy your wedding day. That's what every woman and of course every man wants. And if you always wanted to become a certified wedding planner, we have tips for you from a professional in that field. So if you have any questions, her number will be running down your screen. You will get to consult her anytime that you feel like. And of course, we get to introduce her. Karibu sana on set, Madam Diana. My name is Diana Wamaida. I'm the lead planner and consultant at Kenya Wedding Planners. At Kenya Wedding Planners, we help brides uh, plan their big day and also help them achieve uh, uh, the best on their big day. Well, you just said uh, brides. Mm -hmm. What about the grooms? <laughs> Okay, we help couples plan their big day. Thank you, couples, because most of the times you say that uh, the wedding is for the woman. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays it's diverse. It's yeah, it's for both. And yeah. Everything. So, of course, the man is doing it to the woman yes. to make her happy, to make sure that they, at least they enjoy the essence of actually getting married. Yes. So, of course, it's for everyone. And for many couples, mm -hmm. it is their very first time planning a wedding. Mm -hmm. They're confused as to where to begin, mm -hmm. how much everything costs, and how to choose vendors. Mm -hmm. Planning a wedding is not only about choosing your colors, mm -hmm. flowers, and menu. Mm -hmm. There, is, there are logistical matters to attend to, mm -hmm. such as the timing of events, mm -hmm. parking situations, and knowing which vendors are reputable just for you. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we have mm -hmm. a professional on set, and she's going to tell us more about And, of course, we'll start by throwing questions mm -hmm. right at you. Mm -hmm. One big question that we've always wanted to do, mm -hmm. dealing with the clients, mm -hmm. dealing with this person, with these couple who's come presenting the fact that they want to do a wedding for you. Mm -hmm. Probably they're busy out there and everything, and mm -hmm. now they want to entrust you with their wedding. Mm -hmm. You barely know them, yeah. but they're expecting the best out of you. Okay. How was it then? Okay. Okay. At first, it was a uh, kind of hard convincing couples that you you're best in this uh, planning. Mm -hmm. But uh, after a few experiences mm -hmm. working with different brides, now we are able to convince clients that yes, you've come to the right person, mm -hmm. and uh, working with us will be fun and will work the best towards achieving. A successful wedding oh, day. So it has you. to be fun right from the yes, start. Yes, yes. Not even not on the actual day. It yes. has to be fun right well, from the start. Yes. And, and I'm assuming there are moments you've met different people. You know, couples are different. People come from different cultures. Yeah. People come from different religions. And yes. at times it's even worse when the couple themselves yes. are from different cultures and yes. from different religions. Yeah. Trying to play with them, you know, and they will come with ideas. Mm -hmm. One needs this, mm -hmm. and the other person needs this, and mm -hmm. now it's upon you mm -hmm. as the planner to decide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, we've worked with many couples getting married from different backgrounds and uh, different cultures. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we try to integrate the two mm -hmm. to bring out uh, the personalities of the couples as well. Okay. And also we have to consider some factors like the budget, mm -hmm. uh, like also the guests, like you may, hi you may the kind find, of guests yes, People the kind of guests that wow. they will host for their event. Then uh, also there are some parents, it can be a bit, mm -hmm. yeah, so we try to blend in and blend make in. sure that they gel in and yes. come up with something that is almost common, yes. right, I'm assuming. Yes, uh -huh. and also we have to balance like the, the, the two different uh, backgrounds, you have mm -hmm. to blend in to create that uniformity, more yes, more yeah. common, oh. yes, without favoring one this side and, yes, and the other yeah. one, yes. Most of the time, I'm sure you favor the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> no, we but try to balance the uh -huh. two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, now that these people have come, they presented mm -hmm. themselves, okay, despite the cultures mm -hmm. and everything, there's mm -hmm. always this one particular thing mm -hmm. that every wedding will want. Okay. You know, the kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Step one, step yes. two. For how long should I plan my wedding? Uh -huh. For how many months should I plan my wedding? Uh -huh. Or how soon can I decide that I want to do a wedding and I'm good to go? Okay. Some of the things that you actually look at first. Okay. First of all, we look at the timing. Mm -hmm. It is very important. Uh, when you set a date, like for example, we try to look at uh, what, what time, what day, when does your 
event fall. Yeah. Like it's a, a high peak season. Mm -hmm. there, there, there are two seasons. There's a high peak and the off peak season for weddings. Like for example, the high peak is, starts from August all the way till December, February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, then these others, uh, it's, a, it's an off-peak season. Mm -hmm. So during, apparently during the high-peak season is when you get most brides yeah. because uh, especially in December, most brides like getting married in December. Mm -hmm. First, uh, the first, uh, being, first reason being most people are free during holidays, so that's when they, they'd like to have the to events. Have the event. Yes. And almost everyone is yes. around. Yes, yeah. everyone is around. People are not busy. Kids have closed schools. Yeah. yeah. So we look at the timing. Then the next thing uh, we look at is the budget of a couple. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, looking at the budget, we also look at what would the couple like to see on the wedding day. day yeah. Yes, so to get the concept of mm -hmm. the event, so we we try and get what 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 does this couple want mm -hmm. that can reflect their personalities. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. so basically the budget, uh, the timing, and the different personalities of the couples because we can do. We have to do what reflects the couple. What. The expresses are, their yeah. uh, their expectations and what expresses the personalities of the couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like like I said earlier on, mm -hmm. there are things that will come first on the list. You know, okay. as I come to you, okay. In terms of considering this first, of course, okay. cash has to be among mm -hmm. the first on the mm -hmm. list of everything. Okay, but again, and of course, the expectations, like you put. Yes. but on the checklist, there's something that we call the checklist. I'm sure you must right. be doing that. Yes. What comes first on the checklist? And okay. like I asked you earlier on about the timings, mm -hmm. someone would want to say, I want a wedding in, in a month's time. Mm -hmm. Would you advocate for that? Someone mm -hmm. would tell you, I have like 12 months, then mm -hmm. the man I'll be doing my wedding. Mm okay. What do you say about that? Okay, like for example, now being a busy season, you, come, you can't come to us and tell us, I want a wedding for next month. Yeah. Probably by now, most of the venues are booked, mm -hmm. which is the most, okay. the key thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the venues are booked. And if you happen to get, you might even be double booked. Uh -huh. So the first thing to do is book a venue. Okay. Yes. So once mm -hmm. you book a venue, you check whether the venue is big enough to host your guests. Mm -hmm. Then you look at the facilities available. You look at the payment and the cancellation mm -hmm. policies with the venue. You look at the uh, other facilities like the parking space, the amenities, yeah. what is available at mm -hmm. the venue. Yes. But, but, but are we in agreement that you can actually plan a wedding in a month? Yes, I can, as long as you get the, the finances venue. and everything that yes. is required. If it's ready, there. yeah. Then again, that will, that will limit you to like, for example, let's say we say we, you get like all the venues, the gardens are booked, that will make you change your your setup, like you can do an indoor setup. Maybe you had planned to have an outdoor thing and all the venues are booked, so you'll have to opt for a an indoor setup. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is so interesting about the peak days, the peak times, you know, of the weddings? Because everyone wants to rush for that. Yes. And I'm assuming it's going to be even expensive. Uh -huh. What is so interesting about that, the events and how it works for you people, like you get exhausted so much. Mm -hmm. And at times, you know, when you plan my wedding, I would yes. want you to attend mm -hmm. to make sure that things are running to the end, you know, that particular day of my wedding, I mm. need to see you there. At least mm -hmm. I'm sure that my planner is around, mm -hmm. so things are at ease. When I'm up there at the altar, I'm easy. Yes. I know that things are running at ease. But you have like around four weddings that you've planned on that mm -hmm. particular day. Mm -hmm. So playing around, how do you get to play around with that? Okay, actually, we don't double book. If, oh, we, if it is a day? Yes, it's yes, day. it's wow. for that particular couple. Yeah. And we have to, we outsource some extra human resource. Mm -hmm. So I'll, if, if, if a couple must have their wedding on that particular season, mm -hmm. I usually advise them to book earlier enough mm -hmm. to avoid double booking. Mm -hmm. Yes, a venue. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned extra, extra what? Extra human extra resource. Extra human resource. Yes, who and are experienced. Automatically gave me the, the essence of having vendors. Yes. You know? uh -huh. And to you viewers, involving uh -huh. the vendors. Uh -huh. Very, very important. Uh -huh. You know, vendors are suppliers uh -huh. of any product or uh -huh. service related to weddings, uh -huh. such as limousine companies, uh -huh. musicians, photographers, uh -huh. party supply companies, invitation printers, etc. Uh -huh. Vendors can be valued partners in planning a successful wedding. You will agree with me. You will agree with me. Yes. 
vendors. <laughs> so how do you work with your vendors and everything? Oh, you want to tell me that you work alone, you have all this, you know, like it's a one-stop shop. Okay. You'll get everything on your shop or anything, but uh -huh. you have other people that you get involved with. Okay, we, what we do is we work with vendors in mm -hmm. all the categories, caterers, florists, mm -hmm. uh, deco people, uh, uh, tent suppliers, bands. So what we do is we refer clients to these suppliers. And with the vendors... So you refer clients, you don't talk to the, uh, to, to the vendors on behalf of the clients? We do so. Uh -huh. We do so and we, no, we also negotiate contracts okay. and following up with the suppliers. We also schedule meetings with them mm -hmm. for the clients. Oh, yeah. So what, what uh, we do is uh, if a couple comes to us and they tell us, I want to have this kind of flowers for my wedding, mm -hmm. and this is my budget, we will refer you to the florist who can do such at, at your, uh, with your budget. Mm -hmm. Because you realize there are so many, it's like a category, oh, yeah. there are those high-end high suppliers class and class, and class yes. So we, we factor, we take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. yes. And then briefly mm -hmm. about these vendors and everything, at least mm -hmm. we know of the cakes mm -hmm. and everything, but there's one big one that we've not always been knowing how mm -hmm. to go about mm -hmm. it, the car hire bit. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you always think that you, you're going to get a car from your friend, mm -hmm. a car from your friend, and they end up sometimes disappointing. Disappointing. So the car hire is, mm -hmm. is one thing. Mm -hmm. and, and of course with the limos in, yes. we always want to have this colorful wedding, and mm -hmm. when you see that limo there, you just mm -hmm. see, yeah, you're there. Okay. Tell us something about the car hire. You've dealt with people who do car hire. Mm -hmm. Friends will always be there to promise you, and uh, and if you realize, mostly the guys in the committee, oh yeah, they will always promise you, oh, we'll give you we'll this give car. You this but it's good to have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. It's good to hire some as your as you're hiring the limo. It's good to hire some extra cars for mm -hmm. your bridal party, maybe for your immediate. Uh, relatives, relatives like mm -hmm. parents oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's good to have a backup plan mm -hmm. yes they'll promise you we'll give you a car then come the wedding day they are no it's longer it's, it, the car's broken yes, down the car, stories. I don't know, yes mm -hmm. stories so it's good to have a backup plan by hiring extra cars oh, yeah. yes mm -hmm. now are you planning to tie the knot anytime soon would you like to do it with some style and swag as they call it check out this no vehicles, no posh wedding, you can attest to that. And there are moments when you just look up to your friends that they will give you vehicles on their wedding, but they just turn you down on that particular time. That is when you look up and you need to have a backup plan and you check out on the car hire sector. So today we decided to go on one particular, one actually of the best car hire uh, centers around, the Royal Garden, and we have Mr. Dominic. He's going to tell us more about car hiring, especially on wedding sessions. Royal Hometown Limits is an event. Uh, it's your one stop shop when it comes to vehicles, when it comes to um, prestigious vehicles. Prestigious, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we deal with stretch and non stretch. There's Saturday, and the non stretch is actually this time an hour out. Mm -hmm. uh, we have more Chrysler, saloon Chrysler, we have uh, rain sports, mm -hmm. we have different vehicles. Depends on the need, sometimes vintages. We oh, are. Yeah. Now, our pride and joy, of course, is the Chrysler. 300. Mm -hmm. I want to show you Chrysler 300. The Chrysler 300 of assuming is the limo. Yes, it's, it's the stretch. It's the stretch. Mm -hmm.
beautiful animal. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 3,000 cc. So, we are talking about, uh, we choose silver because silver matches with almost Yeah, silver, color. you say it's any neutral. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, Royal Home Town Limited Events uh, uh, offers you a package where you can carry up to 10, 10 people. Oh, within, in the limo? Within the limo. Wow. So the whole bridal party mm -hmm. can be yeah. ferried mm -hmm. within the limo. Mm -hmm. So normally we arrange and pick the bride from our home mm -hmm. into church from church to the photo shoot to the reception. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference with a limo, it enhances your function. Oh yeah, of course. Apart from the inside, and we'll see the inside, mm -hmm. that has, uh, of course, drinks, champagne. Mm, I can't uh, wait to see that. Uh, three LCD screens, uh -huh. which are able to play music to your taste. Apart from the lighting, beautiful lighting on the outside, you'll see that uh, lighting uh, oh, yeah. changes and you're able to adapt to it. Uh, the inside is a difficult, a different thing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the inside, of course. I think we need to go like, just take it out because I'm thinking it's all about the outside. Gee, guys, you cannot believe what I'm seeing right here. For a moment, I actually forgot whether I'm inside a car or something. It looks like it's a nice posh hotel, you know? Having your wedding in style, having to start your honeymoon even before you, you're you done with the wedding. I mean, this is just awesome, Dominic. That's our intention. Um, wow. The, 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 the Chrysler 300C stretch comes with um, uh, standard uh, LCD screens. Uh -huh. You can see three very nice LCD screens where you're able to have your music to your taste. Oh, yeah. Whether you have love songs or you have a, a, a particular flavor of music, mm -hmm. be able to play that for you. Actually, the choice of the bride at that particular time. Yes. Um, once we know that, then we're able to set that up, that set that, 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 that up for, for, for you. Uh -huh. We do the decoration of the inside according to the color. Yeah. Theme of, the theme of the color. So this is black, yes. and, um, black red. and red. So if I want green and yellow, it's we have a variety. Fixed. Wow. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Hot pink, whatever color you, you want. Choose, yeah. Then we'll be able to decorate the inside. Uh -huh. That also comes with uh, complimentary drinks. We have waters, we have juices, we have champagne uh -huh. uh, for the entire party. We need to see this. Ooh, awesome. Yes. Uh -huh. So that uh, we have a chauffeur, chauffeur driven. It comes with security service as well. Okay. Uh, still inclusive within the package. Mm -hmm. You get a security service who come lay out red carpet for you. Okay. And, inclusive uh, of the service, this red carpet. Yes, red carpet treatment. Man, security. guys, this is just what you need to, of course, for your wedding if you are planning or intending to do one very soon, yeah? Yes. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then, of course, this carries up to 10 uh -huh. within. So, um, Comfortably, I tell people, don't be too squeezed. Enjoy a limousine, carry oh, yeah. eight people and mm -hmm. enjoy. But of course, people, the whole party wants to enjoy mm -hmm. the limo. So we allow a maximum of 10 mm -hmm. to be carried within mm -hmm. uh, this. So then, most people then look at it as a better deal with all the additionals. We do Stage, also our own yeah. filming. We have a camera mm -hmm. crew who take pictures, uh, currently still free. Wow. Uh, so that when you have your official photographer, mm -hmm. this is an additional, a bonus. You're able to get fantastic photos. Mm -hmm. We've had several people come to see our photos on Facebook and say, give me that set of pictures. Maybe they're better than my the, official the, photographer. Uh -huh. Because we know the vehicle oh, yeah. and we're able to catch uh -huh. better angles. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a champagne toast, which we do. It's mm -hmm. a ceremony which we line up the whole group at the in front of the vehicle. And I'm able to toast with an excellent background. Mm -hmm. So then the value addition, of course, is felt. Is it the same uh, with the other vehicles, the other cars? Yes, with the other cars you don't get this because this oh, yeah. is only unique to a stretch limo. Mm -hmm. so you will not, you might get a bottle of champagne, uh, but again, this is different when it comes to uh, uh, the accessories that come with this vehicle. Mm -hmm. The music system is something else to you know behold. Uh, we have a very good sound system within this vehicle, oh, yeah. and of course DVD playing within that that makes a difference completely. So what's the maximum time that someone can get this? Because I'm thinking you cannot be able to enjoy this in an hour's time. Unlimited. <laughs> Unlimited. I'm There's no maximum time. Weren't. For weddings. But of course the price hikes. Yes. No, the price becomes cheaper with longer hours. Oh. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, 
minimum four hours mm -hmm. for a wedding. Mm -hmm. We do airport transfers too, which are not. Uh, we have carried some celebrities, some yeah. wanting to be known, some not wanting to be known. Mm -hmm. But we have carried a number of people for concerts. We have carried people for uh, birthday parties, mm -hmm. anniversaries. We even had somebody surprise his bride, not his bride, his wife, coming from hospital with their first one. Awesome. And that was wow. nice. I mean, took yeah. them home, and that was something. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where the place is, like you can go as far as... Yes, so long as what we do is we do a road check first. Uh -huh. We make sure that the vehicle is an 8 meter vehicle yeah. that is able, able to, to access the place. There are some hotels, even some new ones, which are probably building without thinking that a limo can come can to the place and they yeah. have an incline which is too steep. Yeah. Then we are only able to drop you, you know, where the limo can, can reach. reach. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we do before we do a ride is do a road check. Make sure that um, the vehicle can actually reach and we agree on the best place we can pick you and drop you. <laughs> right inside this label, I cannot deny that it almost feels like the whole function. <laughs> Actually, you know, you're the, um, I'm on the parish. You like calling the parish, the pastor, whoever, the pastor, the pastor who's officiating this side. It. <laughs> this side eh? yeah. Oh, on the other end, no, 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 no. driver's we'll seat. Bring that down for you on that side. <laughs> you need to bring it down for me, by the way. I need to see the whole thing. Yeah. I've actually visualized my wedding and thinking it's going to be awesome. I test for that. Sure. Right, mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the seats. This is almost like you're sitting in your push home or you're, you're somewhere in a nice, nice, nice hotel. Tell us about the seats and I can see that we have a mirror down there. Well, the idea is to have everything ready for the seats are leather. Mm -hmm. it's leather seats that's called adjacent. Mm -hmm. It's uh, customized to be able to carry several people, at least can carry seven mm -hmm. on this side. Then, of course, we have Wi-Fi. I didn't tell you we have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi inside, so you can. But of course, we don't need to this, have that. You know, a lot of people these days take pictures and send them out. Yeah, or to instant. Where they are, they see yeah, where they are. True. So the location mm -hmm. can keep changing. But you see, we are digital in terms yeah. of uh, youth these days want to be doing something and sending out where, mm -hmm. take a picture of themselves in the limo, send it out immediately, mm -hmm. take a movie. Send it out. Indeed, like probably you're one of the, the, the maids and you're thinking, okay, I'm doing this next. You need to yes. send it to your boyfriend and tell him, oh, this is this what is we're what doing. Oh, it doesn't work. This is what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't work. But we have had brides who come and sometimes they come and do it themselves and they say they want this uh -huh. and they pay for it themselves. Mm -hmm. Or other times. Because the man is kind of stubborn. The man is slow, slow. And, mm -hmm. and he's reluctant, maybe he's thinking of the money. But afterwards, we always have people come back and say, I'll it do it again. Awesome. I will I'll do, do it, it again. again. If do it weddings again. could be repeated, my yeah. I tell you guys, this is just where you would want to be. If you've not had a taste, if you've not had a feel of being in a limo inside, then trust you me, I'm telling you it is awesome because I'm here sitting right inside a limo. It is just what you need for your wedding. It is just what you need for your birthday party. It is awesome, guys. What is important first is know your date, uh -huh. know your locations. Uh -huh. Because for us, what we want to know is one, your date. When are you? Uh, so that then there are a limited number of stretch limos in this country. Uh -huh, in the country, no. So what happens is if you're not able to get the silver one, you're able to organize for you another one. Another, uh -huh. uh, but even then, like um, December, December is a crazy Please, period. Okay, 14th, yeah. people will only be able to get the small ones. Uh -huh. That's The that stretches are all gone, 28 uh -huh. the same. So you need to be able to tell us your date. Uh -huh. And to secure it, it's just a booking. Normally ask for 60%. Advanced, advanced booking, booking uh -huh. that just secures the date for you and you know that vehicle is yours for that and day see, and yeah. then two weeks before the event the full pay, pay, payment is done mm -hmm. once that is done the full payment is done we do a route check okay. we go and check uh, out all yeah. your locations what's going to happen your color scheme we personalize we have personalized number plates mm -hmm. which we also offer oh, for the vehicle nice. so then it will be linda Weds. Weds jt there we go uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, apart from, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. something. We do the plates, personalized plates, so then the vehicle seems it's yours. Oh, yeah. Mean. Oh, the, 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 the earlier you book, the chances of you getting a discount or what? The time is what gives you a discount. Okay, Longer so, uh, hours. There are some who come and take 10 hours. So, if you get it, yeah. Wow, this is awesome.
Wow, wow, wow. Wedding planning is indeed with no doubt an exciting field. What do you say about that? Yes, it is. You look at the video and it's just amazing. Mm. I, I could not help but dream, you know. Mm. I could not help but feel myself in that limo. My God, this is what you guys should be doing. At least make sure that you impress your woman. Mm. Throw them a surprise, bring them something nice. You know, yeah. a wedding day is one particular day that will actually make you change your life, you know, make you feel like, yeah, you are a woman at home, you are a married person, right? Yes, and it can never be repeated. It can never be repeated. Thank you for saying it. Actually, it's clear <laughs> what I am assuming my producer was thinking about. But all in all, back to you, Diana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dealing with the finance and luxury. Like okay. we said, it cannot be repeated. Mm -hmm. So if it cannot be repeated, you want mm -hmm. it to be the best. It has to be done right. You want it to be la as luxurious as yes. king, as that one of a queen or a king or yes. a princess or a prince somewhere. Mm -hmm. But the finance sometimes will draw us behind. Yeah. You know, they will limit us. Yeah. What do you say about that? Handling that, you know, and talking to people. Probably you've dealt with people with different uh, states of finances and yes. different states of budgets. Mm -hmm. to, uh, talk to the people now. Okay. Now with budgeting, we'll have you have to save first. Mm -hmm. You can't just wake up and say tomorrow I'm going to to have a wedding. Yeah. You have to save. You have to put it like a. Uh, you have to save, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, as you're saving, you have to also have some extra cash just in mm -hmm. case. Like for example, currently, uh, things are going up. Like oh, yeah. for example, with the VAT bill. So you can't just say like uh, we are going to have a wedding. For this, uh, for this and this amount, mm -hmm. you have to have some extra contingency cash just in case mm -hmm. maybe things go up or something comes up that you had not planned Planful. for. Well, there are other people who will come with mm -hmm. extra budget, I would say. Like, mm -hmm. they're so much loaded, you know, mm -hmm. so much money in their pocket and they just want a blast. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're thinking, okay, you all want all this and it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Or you want all this with a very expensive, you know. Uh, budget in mind mm -hmm. and we can actually get it at a lower price mm -hmm. would you advise them and tell them that need or you will tell them okay just bring the money bring along the money go get this uh, at, the, at a cheaper price and mm -hmm. also pocket some of the money mm -hmm. so you know people's perspective of things is different mm -hmm. and people's priorities are different as well so if they have it and it's uh, if they have the cash and they would like to get that particular thing of course we advise them uh, getting this particular thing for this much, mm -hmm. it's uh, in, where you can get it somewhere else. Cheaper price, yeah, yeah, so of course we advise them you mm -hmm. can get this same thing at somewhere else at a cheaper price. Mm -hmm. But uh, we also say the client is always right. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you give them what they want. Yes. Well said. And then and now. One important thing, mm -hmm. wedding is all about color, it's all about mm -hmm. looking good, you know, mm -hmm. balloons, flowers, Glamour, and all yes. over. Mm -hmm. But nowadays we are a bit sophisticated and stylish, we, yes. we, we focus on the color theme, you mm -hmm. know, and everything. You even told us mm -hmm. guests, color theme is this color, so mm -hmm. that you can't dress in that. Mm -hmm. But you find that again, with the, with, with the change of things and everything, mm -hmm. you see people coming with the braids, the mm -hmm. bridesmaids and mm -hmm. everything. They will always determine, by the way, the color of the wedding, the yes. scheme. Of course, mm -hmm. the, the maid, mm -hmm. uh, the maids will tell you, okay, mm -hmm. their dresses will definitely, you look at them and you know that, okay, mm -hmm. this is the color scheme. Mm -hmm. But nowadays you find that their brides who would choose their bridesmaids to have green, different colors of yes. dresses, you know, almost the same design, but uh -huh. different colors. And, also, and now you're still uh -huh. supposed to walk around with the colors and, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that you get a cake that is almost uh, conversant with the mm -hmm. theme and everything. How mm -hmm. do you work with that? Okay, uh, with the colors, uh, it's also again on the couple. The choice of the couple. Choice yeah. of the couple. Uh, and it's not always good to say that, uh, okay, the maids are putting on this, uh, this kind of outfits with mm -hmm. this, in this color, because uh, sometimes you find uh, different, uh, maids have different clothes for different parts of the wedding. Like yeah. you, ha you get uh, okay. people having Tend different outfits. Cake outfits for the ceremony, mm -hmm. another color for the reception, oh, and yeah. maybe for the photo shoot. So you can't just say this wedding is for, the color scheme is, is this particular yes, color. Yes, so okay. you can't just judge. People have come up with many ideas mm -hmm. and people are trying to avoid doing what, for example, you say, I saw this at my friend's wedding, so I'll definitely do, do the same. Mm. It doesn't reflect your character as well, mm -hmm. so it's good to be yourself. So at times, at times you would tell a client, mm -hmm. okay, fine, I think you love this, mm -hmm. but then it will be good if you go in this direction. Okay, I, 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 I say the client is always right, okay. but you don't tell them, do this because it's my own uh, perspective mm -hmm. or my own liking. Mm -hmm. 
just let them do what they want but advice for example with the mixing of mm -hmm. colors you can't just you have to advise them yes to bring out the best for mm -hmm. yes. bringing out the best well yeah. they've and as we we're almost uh, we're, we're almost winding the show mm -hmm. because of time and anything mm -hmm. but there's one thing that we would want to hear i'm mm -hmm. sure there's one thing that the viewer would want to do mm -hmm. assurance mm -hmm. The assurance that I'm going to entitle this person into dealing with my wedding and mm -hmm, everything, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm expecting he, this person to deal as a professional. Mm -hmm. I want to see the professional bit of it. I want mm -hmm. to be sure that my cake will be well mm -hmm. done, cooked well done. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I want to be sure that at least the food, you know, mm -hmm. my guests will not go home complaining that they did not get enough food or anything. Mm -hmm. I want to be sure that the decor will mm -hmm. be just awesome. Mm -hmm. That assurance mm -hmm. when I come to you mm -hmm. as a wedding planner. Okay, so when you sign up with us, mm -hmm. uh, we will also like uh, involving mm -hmm. your people who are close to you, like yeah. relatives. Like for example, on the wedding day, uh, in as much as we are coordinating the day, mm -hmm. would like you to give us like, uh, like let's say five or six people mm -hmm. to oversee like each and every item. Like for example, you can give us a person for cake, a person for gifts, especially oh, yeah. gifts is a senti sensitive Very thing. Very sensitive, yeah. Then we decor someone to oversee the catering, the setup, to make sure that the buffet is set up. Just to, it's like to, to supervise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, though we are there to coordinate, we'd like the, the, the person that you've uh, chosen to represent you, yeah. to make, to, to be there to you know counter check and yes, to check this is okay, this is a tick, yes. So okay. that's how we make sure that the client is assured mm -hmm. that uh, their day will go well. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. And, and to that, like I said earlier mm -hmm. on, we are about to wind the show. Mm -hmm. What would you tell this person who wants to do a wedding? What would you tell this person who wants to actually be a wedding planner mm -hmm. later on in life? Mm -hmm. Probably you've done it before, mm -hmm. you know, it is an interesting thing and mm -hmm. such like stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. To all those who are aspiring to be wedding planners, first of all, it has to be something that you love, something that you're passionate about, mm -hmm. something that is inside of you. Don't do it because others are doing it or don't do it with other intentions like thinking uh, I'm doing it for money or just have, let it come from inside, from inside of you. Yeah. Yes. Well, you've all heard it from the expert. And after the wedding, there's always this big question, what do you do? You have to bring food on the table and such like stuff. So always make sure that you don't overdo your wedding and end up being a miserable person. And another big question, the immediate thing that you should do after your wedding. Before going to that honeymoon, I have some tip for you. Donate all the live flowers to a nursing home. Maybe even deliver them in person and try to personally give one to all the ladies that live there. Quite challenging, don't you think? Personally, I'm looking forward to doing this very soon. And hey, don't forget to write and send thank you notes to the wedding guest that you invited. Well, I must admit that it was great having Madam Diana on set, and I'm sure you've learned quite a lot of stuff there. If you are planning to have a wedding anytime soon, then you must be having the tips right at your hand. It was great hosting the show, Uliza Chochote, and of course, it was great having some time with you people, and thanks a lot for always being there for us. And until next time, I've been your host, Linda Alela. Yeah.